a big judge in the court of TT, a son-in-law and a judge in TT's court. And uh, his tomb has got beautiful depictions. Uh, you can see him depicted flanking the doorway, standing on a grand scale, holding a stick and a scepter. The stick and scepter has, have been all the time emblems of nobility. The noble people of ancient Kemet always holds stick and a scepter in the hand and they are always half naked with a kilt. Hmm? Most of the ancient Kemetian officials put wigs on the head. And this is how the Europeans learned this habit of using the head, the, the wigs for when they are in the court and also the judges and the jury members still use, most of them in Europe, still use the wigs. We will see some of the ancient Kemet wigs in the museum tomorrow, yeah? So getting inside this tomb, turning left and then right, left and then right, and see the wall from the beginning to the end. You will enjoy seeing a canal with crocodiles, with hippopotamus, with cows crossing the canal, with farmers feeding hyenas, and farmers carrying a big lit on the back, and farmers milking the cows. Hmm? Beautiful relief work, although it doesn't have colors, because probably the colors were washed away or the tomb was unfinished, incomplete. This part is only in beautiful relief work. And you leave this room to the second, where you also see depictions of fouling and fishing and tax collecting into a third room with a false door at the back. This is the last chamber in the tomb and the false door there indicating where the deceased is to be found. The deceased is to be found behind the false door and a shaft leads down to the tomb chamber which was cut into the rock beneath this masturbus. This false door means that at one point in time, the car, car, the spirit, would emerge from the door, meeting and greeting friends and visitors coming with offerings. You will see the offerings depicted on the wall. These offerings could be cattle, sheep, lotus, papyrus, vegetables, fruits, ducks, geese, goats on leash, all are depicted on the wall on the right and on the left. And there is a table in front of the false door where things were piled up on the table for the car to take to the afterlife to sustain itself. The car expects these offerings to sustain itself in the afterlife. But the people of this time also realized that most relatives and friends do not remain loyal all the time. By the time they will forget and skip coming to the tomb and offering. But these depictions on the wall will spiritually become real offerings and the car can use them. So this is what you're going to see there. And frankly speaking, that all kinds of photos are not allowed there. Yes, if you ever take photos, okay, uh, the guy will be watching because this is the way he is going to get some tipping. Yeah, so let us send uh, the first 20 people to the tomb. And then when they come, the other 20 people will go to the tomb. Yes, this way, please. Yeah.